My name is Ronit Kingurithi. My name is Anant Vivekanan. My name is Vishnu Javadi. My name is Rashil Render. And my name is Ethan Zhang. And, and we, we are presenting, presenting Adori. Adori was founded on the notion of saving the earth from the devastating impacts of humans on the overarching environment. From climate change to deforestation, humans' effects on the environment have led to a cascade of catastrophes. Perhaps one of the most significant is the crisis brewing in the oceans from plastic pollution. Over 250 oceanic species have been affected by plastic pollution. Over the past few decades, plastic in landfills has been the largest contributor to plastic waste in the oceans. According to the peer-reviewed journal Science Advances, 91% of all plastic in the world is not recycled, leaving the vast majority of that plastic to ultimately end up in the ocean. We have developed a product that will fix the recycling process by targeting the problem at its source. Adori, employing a complex deep learning algorithm, is used by consumers to determine if an object can be recycled. This seamless integration into everyday life allows us to target the issue at its source by stopping contamination before it ever occurs, alleviating the strain on waste management facilities. Our product will then allow recycling to become profitable for cities and reduce the amount of recyclable materials being thrown into landfills. Adori will be implemented in public areas as well as households to reduce contamination of recycled materials to a point where recycling would become beneficial economically and environmentally. Now let's get into how Adori actually works. We use a deep learning model to focus on image recognition and object detection. The model is a state-of-the-art model called Inception ResNet V2 and is trained on the Open Images V4 dataset. This is an open source Google AI which is trained with around 9 million images. This model ensures our product is able to detect and categorize images with the highest efficiencies. Another technology we used is edge inferencing. Edge inferencing allows us to run our model on our actual device rather than on the cloud. This ensures privacy, maximizes efficiency, and reduces the time needed to transmit information. Our innovative product can also work offline as information from the cloud isn't necessary. We also use parallel computing which is when the CPU provides multiple threads of execution at the same time. And finally, we use software optimization, which is essentially when we modify the software system. Both of these ensure that Adori will not be bottlenecked and will be able to work at maximum efficiency. Here's an image of the prototype that we have built for the Adori device, along with the app UI which we have developed for the Adori application. In addition, to illustrate how the Adori device functions, now playing is a small video segment detailing how the product actually works. As you can see, the device can easily and quickly detect whether or not an object is recyclable. The physical parts within the prototype that we use to build Adori are the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, the Raspberry Pi camera board, a power supply, and LEDs. In terms of our code itself, we use three classes with an object-oriented approach, which are the camera class, the box utils class, and the main class. Experts everywhere have been exhilarated by how well made our product is. Some of their praise sheds light on how inexpensive our product is while maintaining quality. Furthermore, environmental professionals are saying that this product will play a key role in lessening the amount of plastic in the ocean if implemented into the market. Although Adori doesn't have any direct competitors within the market, there are some companies that have similar products as ours. These include Max AI, AMP Robotics, as well as Korean Robotics. After carefully analyzing these individual competitors, we can see that Adori is unique in many ways. Adori can stay powered on for long periods of time and there are multiple power sources to make it adaptable for different scenarios. Our first power source is using an electric power outlet and our second form of power is with a rechargeable battery packs that can easily be swapped out. Next, with the use of the Raspberry Pi, our product is able to stay cheap with us still making a substantial profit. The Raspberry Pi also allows our product to stay lightweight and easily movable. Additionally, our LED lights play a pivotal role in helping guide the consumers on where to dispose of their garbage. And on top of that, since our product is connected to the internet, it will regularly receive software updates and continue to get better with items being scanned. These unique features and elements provided by Adori allows us to further enlighten, educate, and engage our consumers. We want to enlighten our consumers by providing statistics and facts to appeal to them. Secondly, we want to educate our consumers on the steps they need to take in order to help contribute to solving the issue. Lastly, we want to engage with the consumers in order to ensure that they are following through with the steps that we have introduced to them. Adori will target the government so we can place our product at public points of interest. We will also use government contracts to target residential areas. 
We believe the government is a great customer as they've invested large amounts of money into the environment. And through contracts, we can target the average person, increasing the efficiency of waste management plants. All things considered, the total cost of our product comes out to be $66.38. We worked hard to make sure the cost of the materials are as cheap as possible so that we could maintain high profit margins while also being able to manufacture many units at a relatively cheap price. Furthermore, in terms of funding, our main source of funding is from the Environmental Protection Agency. This is because they offer $4 billion in grants every year to organizations and we are planning to present our idea to them in exchange for a grant. We have also fully thought out and planned all the steps to implement Adori into the market. The first step is proving that our product and application actually work. We do this through a beta phase where we present our idea to city governments. Then we want to reach out to the Environmental Protection Agency as well as venture capitalists to help fund our manufacturing, labor, marketing, and other costs. After that, we plan to roll out a dory to the local, state, and federal governments. Finally, we want to reach out to the international market, such as the UN, having already established proof of concept. We projected our financial outlook in three phases. Until the Innovation Summit, end of year one, and end of year six. The budget for the Innovation Summit is near $240, as the work will be done primarily by our team to create our initial product. The beta phase is phase two, where we will roll out our product into the market with five beta partners. Phase three is our mass rollout phase, and we will expand our customer base at high rates year over year while keeping our costs down. This will allow Adori to grow profits exponentially. We sincerely acknowledge and appreciate you for allowing us to convey to you our presentation even in these difficult times. We look forward to hearing from you in the near future regarding our business. Thank you.